Firefighters on the North Shore are stretched thin. From brush fires to homes, the drought conditions have really made it a tinderbox. And last night, we told you that an 84-year-old woman died after being rescued from a brush fire in Folsom. Lily Cummings was in St. Tammany today, and she brings us the story. Everybody knew her by Itza. 84-year-old Alona Beto's family says she loved being outside. She stayed outside all day almost, doing the flowers, planting flowers, and she just... She just, we, she couldn't grasp that we had a fire ban. Beto's stepdaughter Lydia asked that we not show her face. She did share that Beto was suffering from pre-dementia. The family says they urged her not to burn, but there was also a language barrier. Beto is originally from Hungary. She loved her native land. According to the state fire marshal's office, a deputy was driving along Highway 25 near Folsom Sunday afternoon when he spotted a brush fire that had spread to a shed. When St. Tammany Fire District 5 came to extinguish the fire, they found Beto unconscious. We don't at this time know what led to her falling into the fire, but we do know that she did fall into the fire. The family says Beto was flown to University Medical Center where she later died. Folsom Fire Chief Jamie Truitt says it's the first fatality he's seen from a brush fire. I've been doing this for a little over 38 years and I've seen nothing like this. So this is a skid unit on our brush truck. Truett says manpower and resources in St. Tammany are being diverted to assist crews fighting wildfires across the state. All the fire departments in the area uh, are small. Okay, we don't have a lot of manpower. We don't have a lot of uh, a lot of trucks with staff on them. We rely heavily on volunteers. Um, and during the daytime, volunteers are at work. Not to mention, Folsom has recently helped out neighboring parishes. Unauthorized burning, trash piles getting away from people, uh, cigarette butts thrown out on the side of the road. Um, there has been a little bit of arson that is actually being prosecuted in Tangible Parish and Washington Parish as well. All of this while Louisiana remains under a burn ban. In St. Tammany Parish, Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. The family's still waiting for the autopsy for an official cause of death.